Hey, first and foremost, I would like to give all the honours, the praises, the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Muhavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. In who I reverence and honours to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because you know we're living in the last days of the last days and Lord when this be edifying brothers and sisters out there I'm so I, I apologize for you know the hold up Satan is really trying everything to hinder us to stop us because one thing Satan hates is us being consistent Satan hates consistency because the more consistent you are, the more damage you're doing to his kingdom. So that's the reason why I've been taking long with uploading these videos and so forth. Because it's just the devil trying to put throw spanners in the works. But without further ado, we're going to flow with the spirit. We're going to go back to basics. And Lord willing, this to be edifying. We're going to start at Peter's. One, the second chapter. Wherefore, laying aside all malice... So we have the Peter talking about laying aside all malice. Malice means ill will, ill will, ill thoughts. Because a lot of men can come into this truth, but they have ill thoughts towards their brothers. Therefore, the Lord doesn't really sup with them on that level. Okay. And it says, and all guile. So we got to put away guile as well. And what did, um, what did Yehoshua say to Nathaniel? Blessed is the Israelite whom his spirit is no guile. No deceit, okay, and hypocrisies because the Pharisees they were known for their hypocrisies as well. So you can't be saying you're doing one thing but you're doing the other thing. We can't be hypocrites in this truth. No, it's one thing. Example, you mess up on something, can you say, Well, I'm messing up here, but the Lord's you know, don't do this. That's another thing. That means you're not a hypocrite. A hypocrite is you're telling others not to do something, but you're doing it yourself. That's a hypocrite. So we've got to put away all those things. And envies. No brother should be envying another brother in this truth. Right? And all evil speaking. So any evil speakers should be put away from you. This is part of becoming a new man and desiring the sincere milk of the words. As newborn babes. So we've got to be newborn babes within this truth. Newborn. It's like your flesh, like your your you're fresh out the wound. This is it when you wake up to this truth. Newborn babes. You're well, newborn babes in Yahweh Shai. We're, we're still teething, depending on how much years you've been in this truth. If you've been in the truth two years, that means you're two years old within the truth. You're still a babe. Five years, that means you're five years old in the truth. Seven years, that means you're seven years old in the truth. Ten years, that means you're, you're still somewhat a babe, even though certain brothers grow quicker than others you're still a babe within the truth desire that sincere milk key thing it says desire and sincere so we have to desire sincere third thing milk so we have to desire this word this milk and sincere we have to be sincere to want to learn the basics how do you know if someone ain't sincere because they want to go straight to the meaty lessons to look good, to act deep and to act like they know something. But when you ask them the basics, it's like, well, it's not there. Why? Because these are the men that came in with vain glory. So we desire the sincere milk of the word. A baby needs milk. You don't give a baby fizzy drink, um, not even apple juice and acidic foods because that could harm their health. Right? You give them food that's easy for them to chew on formula um um liquid type of food because that's what it can digest that's what it talks about milk milk has everything proteins minerals vitamins it has all them things to build up the body so this is what we're supposed to have within this word go back to the basics right and it doesn't mean you can't go into deeper lessons with me but it all starts with the basics that's the foundation okay and it says that you may grow thereby and that's how you're able to grow so lucky i'm kind of speeding this up because it's going to get dark soon and it says if so be that you have tasted that the lord is gracious 
when that's where you start seeing that grace because you start being sincere and the Lord loves that sincere and humility and that's part of the desi desiring the sincere milk of the word come on now let's go to excuse me just a minute mm, Isaiah then we go to Corinthians Isaiah 28 and jump straight to verse 9 whom shall he teach knowledge so who's the Lord going to teach this knowledge to and whom shall we make to understand doctrine? The doctrine's important as well. Them that are weaned from the milk. Weaned. That's what a mother does. Right? I know most women don't do it anymore. They don't, they don't like to breastfeed. Weaned from the milk. You see how important the foundations are? Weaned. That's breastfeeding. Right? And it's a fact. It's, it's um, a fact that women that breastfeed their children, they're more healthy. That's a fact. Right? But most women says, no, I don't want to do that. It make my breast all, uh, all, you know, all, <laughs> all droopy, you know, because they're vain. But it, it has health benefits, right? And it says, and drawn from the breast, the breast of this truth. It talks about that in Proverbs, right? For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. So that's how we read the scriptures. Right now, let's go to Corinthians. I want to shut off because I want to get onto the next lesson as well. Have a shot. And Lord, we're going to start making our lessons more shorter. I've realized most videos I do are like 40 minutes, an hour long. Sometimes just keep it short because a lot of our people got a short in attention span as well. Let's go to Corinthians. Come on. I definitely want to go back to the basics. It doesn't mean I'm not going to do lessons that are weighty because I want to um, do a weighty lesson, but there's balance. The Lord deals with balance. A lot of the times we can forget ourselves because you're too busy going into the deep revelations. The Lord wants us to go back to the basics, the foundations. The scriptures you started off when you first woke up to the truth. Okay. Go to Corinthians now. First Corinthians, third chapter. I, brethren, would not speak unto you as unto spiritual. Who? Paul. He could not speak unto the people as, as unto spiritual. And there was a reason for that. Right? So we couldn't tell them really the deep things of the scriptures. But as unto carnal, because they were not on a level. That's why. <laughs> okay. Even as unto babes in Mashiach, he had to speak unto them as into babes unto Mashiach. Babes, newborn babes. Babes don't know anything. Right? That's why they have to be taught. I have fed you with milk, Paul. There's that milk. And not with meat. So Paul was saying, I fed you with milk and not with... Oh, these scripts are heavy. See, we need to go back to the basics. I fed you with milk and not with meat. There was a reason for that. For her too, you were not able to bear it. Right? You, ain't, you weren't able to handle it. Okay? You weren't able to handle that meat. Okay? Nef neither, ne neither yet now you're able... You're not able to handle it, right? You're not able to digest it, right? Imagine if a baby's eating meat, the teeth would um, mash up, bust out, and so forth. See, the Lord made, any time Paul or the Lord was making him um, speaking a parable, if, hey, that's a spiritual, what can you hear? You can hear a baby. <laughs> hey, this is spiritual, see what I mean? You can't make this up. We are still as babes in Mashiach until other until you've grown. Okay. And you can't make this up. And it says, for you were not able to able to bear what? That meat. The meat are the heavy topics. Not every brother knows how to break down Daniel 3, Daniel 7, Revelations 18, um, Jeremiah 51. Not every brother knows how to break that down. Right? So this is why. We have to be as babes in Yahweh Shai and be built up. Remember, different brothers, they learn quicker. Me, I was lucky. I was able to learn quicker than others. Right? But that's nothing to boast about. Remember, there's different levels to this. Some learn quicker. Some, some learn slower. Right? And it says, Baba Kishah, if you are yet carnal, you're still carnal, you're still doing carnal things. Some of you brothers are still going to clubs. Some of you brothers are still committing adultery. Or I hope you're not committing adultery. Some of you brothers are still smoking weed. Some of you brothers are still um, envying 
for you are yet cut off for whether there's among you envying and strife. There's still these things among you, envyings and strife. This is why he couldn't teach you the meaty things because you can't even get past the basics things that you were supposed to put off. Come on. And divisions. Are you not yet carnal and walk as men? You're still being carnal and you're walking as men. This is why you need to go back to the milk. And it's all of us. You could be a man that's 20, 30 years in the truth and you still need that milk because that's what keep, that's what brings us back to um, that good grace and humility. So with this, I'm going to shut off here because I want to get onto the next lesson before it gets dark. And until the next time, Shalom.